Hi guys, today I'm doing a project for myself. I've been dying for a new hat and scarf for quite a while, never get the time to do it, but so I've decided to make the time and I'm really happy that I did because it came out really, really beautifully. So this is the hat um, that we're going to be doing in the next video, um, but we're going to start with the scarf. So this is the scarf, well, snood. Um, as they call it. Um, have a look. There we go. So I'm hoping you enjoyed the video and let's get started. So for this project I'm going to need some colour for yarn and I'm using Bit Cakes for that um, and 5mm crochet hook. Now this one is um, it says that it's 5mm is actually recommended and it's 100% acrylic and it's 300 grams which should be enough for both your scarf, well, your snood and your hat. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to find the middle. So as you can see the middle is already out, so that was easy. Sometimes it's not out, sometimes you need to look for it, dig, about, dig around a bit. Now, I don't know how people do it, I don't know what the right way to do it is, but I just keep the cake as it is and just take out a little bit of yarn at a time. You do it however you find most convenient for you. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a chain. And this chain is going to be quite long, so I'm going to start as usual. So I'm going to put the hook under, um, sorry, so wrap around your thumb, your pointer finger and hold in the back like so then do a slip knot and then I'm going to chain 103 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and I'm going to do 103 of those and I'll see you here once I've got that. So now I just need to connect the end with the beginning so for that I just need to make sure that it's not twisted at all. There we go and then just go into the very first chain and connect with the slip stitch. Okay, so that's our ring. So now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to skip one stitch. So this one doesn't count. I'm going to skip this stitch here and I'm going to go into next stitch. So this one doesn't count. I'm going to skip this one and go into the stitch over here. And I'm going to do a triple crochet. So yarn over. Put the hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there should be a gap there like so. And then I'm going to do, do I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to skip one stitch again and then do a treble into the next stitch. So skip one and treble in the next. And another gap. And I'm going to yarn over, skip one, and go into the next one, do a treble in there. So just to give... Ah, now see, this was silly. I forgot the chain. Uh, there's always a chain between the stitches. There's always one chain between the stitches. So yarn over, and then skip one, and then do a treble in the next. So again, let's do a whole process. Chain one, skip one, and do a treble in the next stitch. So yarn over, put the hook in, yarn over, pull through. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch, in the next stitch, Put the hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two, chain one, skip one, and then a treble crochet in next. And this is what I'm going to do all the way around. And when I get to the end, I'm going to come back to show you how I connect. So just before the last couple of stitches, I'll be back here. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of my round. So now I'm going to do my last treble crochet. I have three stitches left. I'm going to do my last treble crochet. So skip and a treble. And a chain. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into the third chain from the from the bottom. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Into the third chain from the bottom as slip stitch. There we go. And that's our entire round. Now, if, you know, for, for any reasons, for any reason you end up with two, two chains here in that cap, it doesn't matter. You don't have to redo it, you can just connect it. It's all gonna write itself because all the other uh, rounds will be, will be the same. Um, okay, so for the second round, we do four chains, one, two, three, four, and then we skip one, skip one stitch. Obviously we don't put anything where the stitches are, where the chains are. So we skip one stitch, and then we go in with a treble crochet into the next stitch. If you need a way to remember it, then it's always going to be this, this stitch on the right of your previous stitch. So this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so we've, there, we've done one treble, then we're going to chain one and do, uh, skip one and do another treble. So you're going to do another treble in here. We're going to chain one and we're going to do another treble after skipping one stitch in here. And then chain one, skip one, and a treble. Chain one, skip one, and a treble in the next. Chain one, skip one, and a treble in the next. Chain one, skip one, and the treble in the next. So this is going to be our pattern for the entire, oops, sorry, for the entire, entire, sh oh well, scarf. Um, so I'm going to go around and when I'm at the end, I'm going to meet you here again just to show you how I connect. And so I'll see you here in a second. Right, so we're at the end of the round and we have three stitches left, so we're going to um, yarn over, I've got my chain there already, I'm going to yarn over, put my last treble in here after skipping one stitch, chain again, and now I'm going to go into the third chain from the bottom. So I'm not going to do anything here because this is one, this is our last stitch and this is the bottom of the chain. So we're going to one, two, three and slip stitch into the chain there. Slip stitch into the third chain. So this is what we have so far. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on like this. So chain four, skip one, chain one, treble. Skip one, chain one, treble. So every single round will be exactly the same as round two. And I'm going to do about 20 inches, which, let me see how long it is in centimetres, 20 inches is 51 centimetres. So this is more or less what I'm going to do, and that comes up to, let me show you. So you've got colours here. Oops. So it's going to be about seven colours all together. 
So once you've got seven colors or 20 inches, come back and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I have finished. Now you will see that this is a slightly different um, color scheme. Well, it's the same color scheme, the same shades, but this is one that I completed earlier because you'll see the at the beginning when I showed you the video, I started with the yellow, whereas this one is actually blue is the first color and I finished with the yellow and we now have about 21 inches because I just wanted to complete this color and um, so now I'm just going to do my last slip stitch again into the third chain from the bottom just a slip stitch and then fasten off okay so that's that and just so you know um, the colors depending on how wide your neckline is will not always align perfectly but it doesn't really matter well not to me anyway um, so now we're going to move on to the next step right so this next step is I would say optional because it the whole thing looks really really beautiful just just like that if you put it on your neck and you saw the um well the photos are actually with the tassels but it does look really good without it so go ahead try it on and if you like it the way it is then just go for it if however you'd like to have a little bit more of the embellishment here um then it is quite time consuming but it does give it a certain charm as well so I'm going to show you what I do. So I cut out um, a lot of yarn of about seven inches long. So first I just cut, I'm not going to count them, but I just count quite, I just cut quite a lot and I just do it like that so that I don't have to measure every single one. and so on and so forth so this is what i'm going to do now because i've already done one side with the orange which is inside and i am not 100 percent sure whether it's going to be orange all the way around whether i'll have enough of the orange what i'm going to do now i'm going to put this in in the different places all the way around so that if the next number come if the next um color uh, needs to be used. It doesn't look really weird that half, you know, half of it is orange and half of it is um, red. So I'm going to take two, two of the strings, put them together like so, and then I'm going to go into the bottom of one of the stitches, bottom of the stitch. So underneath the treble crochet in the first round and then I'm going to pull both of them through pull them through and they're underneath the stitch and then I'm going to make sure that it's on the same level both sides and I'm going to wrap them around my finger and just make a knot all four have to go through all four have to go through and then tighten the knot at the top tighten the knot at the top okay and then i'm going to take another two and as i said in case i end up with another color as well having to use another color i'm not going to do them one next to the other i'm going to start by putting them randomly um, in different um, under different stitches so that if I have a different color they are distributed equally okay and again I'm going to put these two together and pull them through like so and make sure that they're on the same level and then make a knot at the top 
make, you sh make sure that it is um, quite tight so that it doesn't unravel. And again, I'm going to do another one, maybe here. If I can do that, just let me grab them. Oops. As I said, it's fiddly and it's a little bit time consuming. So it's up to you whether you want to do it or not. And then tie a knot and tighten it at the top. So this is basically what I'm going to do. And we will do that in every single stitch. So we're not going to put any in the holes or underneath the holes. We're just going to put them underneath the actual triple crochets. Let me show you on the other side. So it's just underneath the triple crochets. Okay, so I'm going to leave you to it. And once I've finished, I'll come back to show you what the result is. Okay, so I have now finished the other side. Um, so this is what I've just done, this bit here. Now, you will see that the previous side is fairly, fairly straight, whereas this one, they all have different lengths because that's what happens, because I didn't measure the strings, I just kind of cut them out. I now need to make sure that they are all more or less the same length. Nothing easier, so what you do, you just get your scissors and just cut like so. They don't have to be 100% the same length, they just need to be slightly, slightly better. Let's just straighten them out and then cut. Okay, there's one here, it's a bit longer. There we go. And that's that's it, that's our last, last stage of the scarf. So as you can see, well, scarf, snood, I don't really know what you want to call it, but it does keep your neck really warm and it looks beautiful and it really, uh, it's very, very easy to make. It's slightly time consuming, especially if you do the, um, the tassels, but it's all up to you. Okay, well, that's it for the scarf. I'm now going to move on to the hat so if you'd like to see how i'm making the matching hat um check out the next video i hope you enjoyed this one and thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again very soon thank you bye bye